I'd like to talk a little bit about using fungus for creating primitive fire as a tinder. And I brought some that comes from local and some that's from far away. I live in central California. So I'd like to start off with tinder fungus. This scientific name would be Fomus fomentarius. It's a, sort of a horsehoof shaped fungus that grows on birch. We don't have birch here. Uh, this is a wonderful stuff. You can make amadou from it. This layer, I don't know if you can get a close shot there, right along the top here, this area right here is kind of corky, and that material can be processed. This is some that uh, can be ordered through fly fishing supplies for drying flies. It's very flexible. Uh, this is unusual to find it that thick when you're making it yourself. But here's some that um, I created. And this material will catch a spark from flint and steel uh, or flint and marcasite. So let me demo that. This material also can be carved away and scraped into a fluffy material without ever making a felt out of it. This would be considered amadou. That's what most people mean when they talk about amadou as a piece of felt made from the fungus. People also consider just the fluffed up portion of this trauma layer uh, as uh, amadou also. So you can see if you scrape it, it'll <coughs> it'll fluff up a bit and that will catch a spark. So let's see if we can't do it with flint and steel. I really like this stuff and was quite disappointed to learn that it didn't wasn't going to be in my area since we don't have birch here. So I've been looking for substitutes ever since then. And I found some, so I'd like to share that with you. I'm going to fluff this up a little bit. A little more surface area makes it more effective. And I'm just going to use my flint and steel. i try to get a little spark here to demonstrate it. Okay, Fomus fomentarius, Amadou, little flint. Let's see what we can do. We have a good little ember going there, and we could put that in the tinder nest and get it going, but I have lots more to show, so I'm just going to put that out, save that for later, and move on. So, I'd like to show, this is just a little piece of chaga, this is another material that grows on birch, uh, kind of a really black, cracked, cancerous looking thing on the tree. It doesn't really look even like a fungus. This is uh, renowned for its ability to catch a spark. Uh, but this is not generally processed into uh, a felt or amadou. I did find a local fungus that uh, can be substituted for this, and I'll talk about that in a minute. We don't have uh, Fomus fomentarius here where I live. We do have a number of other conchs, and I was curious whether or not they could be substituted. This one here is an oak conch, and it's a really old one. This is Felinus gilvis. I may not be pronouncing the Latin names properly, but it does help avoid confusion with common names to, to use those names. So, um, very much like the amadou, there's a trauma layer after removing the top surface and cutting away the pore layer. You end up with a piece like this, and this is then sliced and processed into a felt. So here's a couple of pieces of amadou that are created not from the Fomus fomentarius, but from the Felinus gilvis, the oak conch. And I found that this has actually worked quite well as a substitute, so I'm going to try to demo that. Let me get this ready. Let me just 
Okay, I have a little bit of uh, felt from the oak conch. Let's see if it works here. There it goes. So I'll go ahead and put this one out too, and we'll move on.